a cup of nice and some alcohol is right here we drink yeah. Every day we fetting so do not bother we when we like them Plenty girl on the road in the bikinis and the mascara day It's freedom, freedom, yeah Yeah, miss me when you see we Good morning guys uh, If it's morning where you are, it's morning here in New York um, ooh, I'm filming this on my iPhone This is like the first time I've ever done a video video um, on my iPhone 4 that I planned anyway to post on YouTube so I wanted to do a quick life update you guys even care what's going on in my life <laughs> I think a lot of you do because I've been getting a lot of DMs um, kind of asking where I've been so from September the 20th first until the I think 29th I was in Paris and then I came back here to New York I was literally in New York for about five days and then I went uh, to Miami um, from what day did I leave for Miami I have no idea um, but I just got back from Miami on Monday and today is Friday so I worked three days and now I'm off so it's just kind of felt like I've been going, going, going. And so for the last kind of week, I've really just been chilling and not doing so much on um, as far as uh, social media. Um, yeah, I've been Instagramming maybe like once every three or four days. Most of the content that I've been posting has been about my Paris blogs, which I have managed to stay on top of even while being on vacation. I have one left, which will actually, actually uh, go live today. Um, what is today? October 12th? I have like no sense of time anymore. Um, anywho, so that'll go live today. And so I'll be done with the vlogs, which is great. Um, because I've been dedicating a good chunk of time to that and not really writing, which is my passion for my blog. I usually write two blog posts every week. One of those posts is usually like an article, whether that be about something meaningful other than just, you know, here's my outfit. It's usually about something going on in my life or about something that happened previously or about something important or about something that's been in my heart to write about. So yeah i'm i'm gonna get back on my schedule on uh jesus is so loud <laughs> i'm gonna get back on my schedule starting next week so i live in harlem i live in new york city and it is loud you guys i can't tell you how many times i have to stop doing like an insta story or something because it's incredibly loud i live on a street where there's um, a block where there's a street here the bus stop is literally five stories down right in front of this window I don't know if you can hear it but it just stopped and then on this side there's another street it's a little bit quieter but basically my apartment is like a triangle it's like um, the flat iron building and it's shaped in a triangle so my that's why my living room comes to a point and it is so loud that's like the only thing about this apartment. It's loud all the time. And so when my friends come over and I have the TV turned up like all the way to 11, they're like, oh my God, are you deaf? And I'm like, no, but if I don't turn this TV up, I can't hear anything. Anyway, so that's that. So life update, I'm still working. I work as a physical therapist. I work um, usually Monday through Thursday I have Fridays off um, which has been great because it's allowed me to have like an extra day with traveling as far as going to Paris and going to Mexico um, I'm all travel out <laughs> I'm kind of really exhausted like Paris was a lot and although I had an amazing time in Paris I always have such a great time in Paris I love it um, eventually I'm probably just gonna move there um, it was a lot of work like trying to vlog and trying to insta story every day and like stay on top of the time zone and um also edit some of the vlogs while there so that i wouldn't get backed up and be like giving people paris content for months and months like i want to be done with paris in the next like week and a half 
yeah and then there's so many other things I need to work on like my to-do list is kind of ridiculous for there to be only literally like two and a half months left of the year it was a good fucking year though so I had a goal to make it was for me it's a really lengthy goal like I wanted to make at least ten thousand dollars from blogging I mean I work a full-time job I make a great amount of money working my job um, I'm pretty seasoned but yeah I mean I pay I put a lot of money and time into my blog so I wanted to make money this year I mean I made money last year too but I didn't really start to like calculate um, my expenses and also like how much I was making until about midway last year so this year my goal was to secure my first ten thousand dollar collaboration I wanted to find a collaboration, do a collaboration where I just get paid a bulk of $10,000. And I guess I wasn't specific in my manifestations <laughs> because I had it like written out on my board so I can look at it every day. I hit my number um, a couple months back. I, I hit 10000 but it wasn't just from one collaboration. It was from several collaborations. Now I think... I'm well past that I am maybe closer to 20 and might hit 25 by the end of the year so that makes me like super happy like I'm really excited I mean wow it's pretty dope it's pretty cool um who I see how people can like do this full-time but it's a hustle like even just even though I have like a day off, if I had to hustle like this and like get to deadlines and make sure I don't miss things and shoot content and stuff 24 hours, I mean, I can see how that is a real job. That's a lot of work. Um, staying on top of things, like, wow. So I'm working on the magazine. <laughs> I had planned to be done with the magazine by October the 15th and yeah that's not gonna happen i do have a meeting with someone who's gonna help me with my layout and my design on tomorrow but i need to transcribe a lot of articles i need to write a lot of articles i need to send out article questions luckily most of the photography for the magazine is done so i think november and the last week of October is probably going to be dedicated to getting the magazine together. So I might reduce my blog post to one post a week. Yeah. Which is going to kill me. But some of my creative thought and like writing has to go some shift and go there. Or else I'll just keep pouring it all out into the blog. So that's what's going on with the magazine. A lot of people have been asking about the templates. Um... I am I had a problem with my blog I'm actually having a problem with my my WordPress blog I've been having this problem for a while um, apparently my blog was built on Windows and which is not good because it's WordPress I mean this is like I've had my blog for so long like it's pretty old but I've been updating it I'm keeping it up to date but just the way that it was created makes it really hard for me to update anything as far as a theme or a plugin if I like put in a new plugin the whole thing will break I'll be on the phone with GoDaddy for like three weeks <laughs> literally like the last two weeks before I went to Paris my blog broke every day every day when I would get it backed up because I pay to have my blog backed up every night at midnight. It would break, it would revert back to an old like PHP level. I would have to wake up dumb early, I see it, I panic, I don't want anyone to see that. I would be on GoDaddy like while I'm <laughs> like in between treating patients and like please fix this. Um, it was an everyday thing for like two and a half weeks and it really stressed me out until I found someone, a developer who actually had to put in some type of code so that my blog won't revert to an old level of itself and break all my plugins and destroy how my blog looks but yeah it's it was pretty stressful two weeks especially when i was like trying to get my paris uh, blogs up 
I'm still kind of dealing with it. Like I, I wake up every day not knowing if my website will look the way I want it to look. And being a type A person, that really bothers me. Um, yeah. So eventually I had to switch, switch my blog to a different server, a Linux server. Honestly, I don't know if I want to do that. I feel like the server I'm on is amazing because it's so old, barely anyone is on it. So my <laughs> server speed, everything is quick, but also everything breaks so much, so much easier. So that was the issue actually with the downloads, the way the plugin that I was using for my pitch templates, it entirely broke my blog. So I had to delete all of the files from as well as that uh plugin and it was such a good plugin i loved it it made me like thousands of dollars thank you for your patronage um but i have to find a new uh plugin or retry this one i think now that everything is like fixed it will work but also i just want to make sure i'm giving you guys a quality a quality product and i know that the pitch templates they work for me and it took me years to figure out like what I'm supposed to stay, say to brands when I want to work with them, what I'm supposed to send when they ask me for a rate sheet or they ask me how much I charge for something or what I'm supposed to say when they reach out and say, oh, let's work together, how I just can't sit on that and wait for them to come up with an idea. I have to go ahead and have something lined up. Okay, I could do a blog post for you. I can do some social media blasts. I can do a swipe up link. Each cost X, Y, Z. It'll come out to this much. What do you think? We can we can do like a fall campaign together. We could do a winter campaign, a holiday campaign where I show how to style your makeup in four ways or how I do my hair like this. Depending on what the brand is, if they're a hair brand, if they're a makeup brand, if they're a fashion brand, like you have to already have thoughts and ideas you have to bring something to them because usually when they reach out I would say 50% of the time they reach out they don't know what they want to do they want to send you like some a shirt and they want to call that a collaboration and hope that you post it on your social media hope that you do an Instagram swipe up link hope that you link it in a blog post and I'm like I'm not doing all of that for, for that I mean I mean that's kind of like a lot so you have to already have your your things in mind and even when someone just reaches out and they send you oh you know we have a new product we like love to send it to you um have you try it out in the end what they want is free press if they're sending you something for free in the end what they want is press they want you to talk about it they want you to post about it um and if you know that's what they want why not just up the ante send your rate sheet send um, a collaboration idea where they're gonna get the most bang for their buck most of the time they have bucks to bang so why not but yeah I just want to make sure I get the templates um, that I keep them up to date I mean I wrote them last year but there's so much more that I've learned from last year to this year and I just want to incorporate that into the templates as well as up, upgrade my Insta Stories Pro ebook because I still keep getting asked all the time what apps are you using for Instagram? What apps, what apps, what apps, what apps? I don't really want my Instagram looking like everybody else's Instagram, but if you must, it's gonna be there in the Insta Stories ebook. Um, yeah, just make life easier for everybody. God, Nespresso is just delicious. So that's as far as what's going on in my work life pertaining to blogging and pertaining to physical therapy. Um, my job as a physical therapist can sometimes be a little stressful. Like sometimes I feel like I'm not only a physical therapist, but like I'm a psychiatrist. Because I mean, a lot of, of the population we see, they have problems outside of back pain and you end up knowing all of their business but you know a listening ear it's all like part of the job i've also been getting a lot of questions about my dating life which is interesting um i'm dating <laughs> and that's about it it's all i have to say about that there i mean there's a guy 
there's always a guy, you know. But, you know, circumstances. So, I am dating. I am currently very happy with the, um, with my dating life. Uh, I know I was talking to my boss the other day and he was like, oh, I mean, do you think you'll ever get married? Do you think you'll ever have children? And I mean, I know he's asking from a place of, not concern, but like wanting me to be happy because he's married and he just had a baby. And the answer is no. <laughs> um, honestly, I mean, I'm not thinking too much about that. Like I'm so focused, like laser focused on my career and on blogging. And I'm like so fulfilled from that, that anything else is just, that kind of comes along is just a plus. Or just like, you know, a cherry on top. But no, I actually don't think I'll get married and I don't think I'll have kids. I think I'm meant to be like one of those like extravagant aunties that like travels around the world and shows up with like decadent men every now and then. <laughs> and I don't know, like I'm very happy. I mean, I know some people are like, oh, but you don't have anyone to share your life with. And I actually have a lot of people that I'm sharing my life with right now. I have friends. I have family. You know, I have love interests. So I don't feel I don't feel lacking in anything. I feel like very happy and fulfilled and probably the most happy I've ever been in my life. And that was even more so than when I was actually in relationships. But yeah, I mean, if it does happen, um, I'm not opposed to it and I wouldn't fight it. But currently I have no plans to get married and I have no plans to have children. So yeah, that's that about that. And I also, am I going to show you guys here? Should I show you? Yeah, I should. I've been talking for 17 minutes. I should definitely just go ahead and show you guys some of my fave products um that i bought in paris uh as far as skincare so just give me a second while i go and grab it okay so while in paris rose and i daddy chic my photographer and my dear friend when we were in Paris, we went to Monoprix. It's basically like the Parisian Walmart. You can watch my vlog about it. I think it's vlog day one and two of Paris. And we did some beauty shopping in Monoprix and it's insane in there. Like, I love Monoprix and I love beauty products. So first up is this nourishing shower cream. Now look. I mean, I love a good shower cream or whatever, but this stuff is life. Okay, how did I figure out about this? I was just smelling different um, shower washes, and this one smells so good. So, here it is. I know it's probably going to be backwards. It is Chlorine um, Body Wash Nourishing Shower Cream made with... I want to say cocoa butter for dry skin. Guys, like I can't even. Oh my God. I've never smelled anything that's, that smells like this. I mean, it's fresh, it's light, it's slightly cocoa butter-ish, but like it leaves my skin feeling like I was just born yesterday, okay? So I actually bought three of these. <laughs> I had to like stuff them in my carry-on. Let me tell you guys how me and Rose both got stopped trying to get back from Paris. They were like, oh, your suitcase is too big. It's too heavy. Your carry-on is too heavy. You're going to have to pay 100 euros. 100 euros. I was taking off clothes. I was putting on clothes. I was putting on eight pairs of shoes and pants. But the trick is that if you're a woman, just go to a man. 
man is not gonna sit there and let you go through all of that he's gonna usher you right on Ooh. so that's what we had to do but yes chlorine Ugh, you guys buy it please i'm gonna link it below i mean i'm kind of a snob when it comes to my body like i love body washes and creams and and serums and anything that's just gonna make my melanin pop Number one. Number two is this Bioderma Laboratoire Dermalogique um, H2O. And actually, Rose put me onto this. Um, it's basically like a cleanser. And it's actually really good and kind of gentle enough to use um, around your eyes. So right here it says visage and you which means face and eyes um it helps to take off like makeup it's perfume free hypoallergenic it doesn't really smell like anything it smells just fresh but it works great i've been using it as a, a makeup remover and a cleanser bioderma check it out below So my favorite or my almost favorite thing that I bought from Paris for as far as skincare is called Embryolis. I mean, it just sounds like it's gonna do some magical shit like embryos and Embryolis. So Embryolis Late or Late Cream Concentrate. Basically, it's like a, a milk cream concentrate. Sorry, I've been using it so much. So it has a multi-function, which, hello, who doesn't love something that does eight things? I mean, that means you don't have to buy eight things. You just buy one thing. So it's a nourishing moisturizer. It's also a makeup primer and also a moisturizing mask. For all skin types, it's dermatologically tested. And I'm reading that from the back here. But it's so good. Like, if I need some moisture, I mean, and you can put it everywhere. It does not aggravate, like, even, like, the very delicate skin around your eyes doesn't, doesn't, like, harm anything. But, yeah, for a complexion which is supple, elastic, smooth, plumped up, soft, and radiant, use morning and night as a makeup base and moisturizer, as a cleanser, or as a mask. So, what I do is, um, in the morning... After I cleanse my face and before I put my makeup on, I use Embryolis as a base for my makeup and it holds really well. It's not shiny, it's not glistening. It just gets immediately soaked up into your skin and just moisturizes. So I use it as a makeup base and then also like at night or if I'm home during the day after I cleanse and moisturize, I mean after I um, cleanse my face, after I exfoliate my face I'll use this just as a moisturizer to just like walk around the house and do nothing it's almost and I'll use a little bit more if I want a lot of moisture and use it kind of like a mask so those are the two times uh, that I use it so I'll either use this at night if I need moisture or I'll use like a different product like a serum and last but not least are these two Caudalie products that I am in love with, in love with, in love with. <sighs> I'm telling you, the French, they know their beauty. So the first one, I'm so sad because it's like, you can you see it's almost gone? So this is um, Caudalie Te De Vigne. Am I saying that right, guys? It is basically oil for the body and the hair. It's nourishing oil for your body and hair it, for a hydration and I don't know what sublime means, but sublime. So it comes in a little spray bottle. And the reason I bought this because it smells like so good.
Ugh. Oh. Like, literally. I see why. Like, you don't even have to wear perfume. Because this smells so amazing. Like, I wish I could find what it's supposed to smell like. Or, like, the actual word for it. But I want to say grape. Oh. <laughs> your man gonna fall in love with you if you smell like this. I'm gonna just tell you. Your man or your woman or your non-binary. They gonna want you smelling like this and also what i love about it is this <laughs> not only can i spray it on my skin but <laughs> hello it's for your hair too and it provides a really nice shine and oh my god it smells so good <laughs> so you know if i got this that i was gonna get the hand cream i mean how can i not get the hand cream so it's the same it's hand and nail cream and oh here it is there's notes of white musk narrow neroli and ginger brie okay white musk neroli flower and ginger <laughs> why am i reading it in print when it's right here in english so yeah y'all know rose tried to jack this for me several times caudalie mm. I also notice that Caudalie products are cheaper in Paris. Why? Probably because it's a Parisian brand. Anything Parisian or French is cheaper. Oh, I smell so good. So those, my dears, are my five fave Paris beauty products. And I will link them below. I also got one more thing from Paris that's not really a beauty product, but should be. Now look, don't harp on me and say, oh my God, it's just Lipton. This is not just Lipton. This is amazing. <laughs> okay. This is the Infusion Grand Sud Lipton Savor de Soir, Savor the Night tea okay and i've never tasted anything like this in my life and i've been to morocco so well no 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 tea beats moroccan tea did you guys watch my uh, morocco vlogs if not check those out in my travel vlog section anywho this is the best tea i've ever had other than the tea i had in morocco i it, it, they don't sell it in america oh my goodness let me tell you guys this is some delicious tea so on this little tea bag there's a camel in the desert okay you see that camel in the desert yes so rose had a friend who wrote a list of things to bring her back to the states and gave her money to do so this was on that bag i mean on that list and i'm like if if she all the way in america and all she want is a whole bunch of boxes of tea tea I know that this tea is about to be bomb, okay? So I bought two boxes for myself and I'm glad I did because this one's almost gone. But your girl has a backup. Now hopefully this will last me until February when I go back to Paris. Yes, I'll be back in Paris, February. And no, it's not just Lipton. It's some delicious ass tea. Whew, so guys, that is my life update. Those are my five fave Parisian beauty products. And to show that I care that you even watch this long video, I'm gonna do a giveaway. Now, when I was in Paris, I was thinking about you guys. I was like, I know I'm going to do a little post about my five fave Parisian products. So why not give my face to you? Yes. So Caudalie, Paris. Don't forget the Paris. I'm going to give away this little set. And it comes with cleansing water. Caudalie cleansing water. Caudalie Moisturizing Sherbet, Caudalie uh, Nourishing Body Lotion, um, also the Shower Gel, 
this shower gel, which I don't even have for myself, which I'm kind of sad, and a shampoo and conditioner, all from Caudalie, straight from Paris, right to you. All you have to do is drop a comment um, below in the comment section and make sure to uh, leave your email address there as well. And just comment on, I don't know, which of the five products you liked or are thinking of trying or your favorite thing about my Paris vlogs or what you think about my life update. Just something that shows that you actually watch this and are just not in it for the contest. But that's okay too. Drop me a comment, drop me your email. I will choose a winner in about a week via, e via email. So look out and I'll make sure to update my comment with the winner's name as well. So if you check back and want to see if you won. But thanks so much guys for watching my life update. Life is amazing. I love it. I'm very happy. And I hope you are too. Yeah. Cheers to life.